Hello Libra, how are you? This is gonna be bonus Thunderdome for December. Because I think he got second place, but I can't remember, but it's whatever. Doesn't matter, really. Really. Alright, so there's gonna be two readings, right? For you and a person you're dealing with or whoever else you think it is, right? You decide whose fault it is, and that's not you. You pick the better one. That's usually how it goes. Or maybe it is you. It's really up to you, honestly. Um, it, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, wait, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose. The way it goes. No reason about worrying about shit that doesn't resonate. Doesn't sound like you. Doesn't sound right. Or it's probably not your story whatsoever. Uh, Cross watchers, please switch where you need to because I have no idea what's going on. I also like the word fuck, so if you don't like that word, I'm very sorry. But don't get offended here. You know, because I, I don't know how to help you with that. I'm probably just going to say it without even thinking about it. I'm sorry. Anyway, group one, we're starting with you. Yeah. So your energy is kind of abusive. Someone's taking it a little bit too far with that scolding with the Five of Cups, right? Down below in the situations, the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone needs to work on their people skills, and they're trying. They're trying to develop some kind of skill. He's definitely working to mold something. Somehow he made a metal pentacle out of a fucking wrench. We don't know how, but he did it. Good on him, man. I like that determination. Wants and wishes is the two of cups right here, group one. A pairing. A love situation. And then down below, the obstacle and challenge is the ten of cups. Happy ending with the family. I don't like how this is going. Like, I'm just saying, like... I don't even think that dude's a child. Like, I just think that somebody who, who gets made to feel small, group one. Fears and rejections, the lover's reverse, could be a Gemini right here. Could be a decision that didn't work out, or it could even be a love situation. Someone didn't make a choice, though. How this shit starts, how it'll end, the Ten of Swords. Bring this whole cycle to close. Mm. What's the beginning theme, group one, please? Seven of Cups, trying to fill a void in some sort of way. Either creatively or otherwise. I didn't need This is what you got so far, group one. Let us see. Like, someone is definitely in a bad situation. And they're trying to keep shit together, but it's like there's going to be a separation that they're afraid of. You know, the Page of Pentacles right here. Just trying to work novicely on this uh, happy family setting, right? Trying their best to go towards this Two of Cups scenario, but it's like it's torturous, too. Or you're left in a box of torture. Stuck in the glass cage of emotions. Mm. Let's see. So what's up with this Five of Cups? It is... the like, Nothing's really secure. It's all dirt. It's all dirt. Someone's upset because there's nothing there. Because it's bare. <coughs> At least you know what you have. <laughs> That's a fucked up way of looking. I'm sorry. But it's like someone's taking it a little bit too far. Like, I wanted this. You promised me this. I want to have this kind of whatchamacallit. And it's just like, okay, okay. I can only work so hard, man, you know? Libra, this could be you or another air sign. Definitely could be Gemini, also Aquarius. But it's like, um... Someone's a little bit too mad about that. They feel like they were, um... Scammed? Or confused? Or tricked? And now they're at a crossroads after that trickery. Like, it doesn't even feel like a score one. I think, I, like, I think they're pissed about how things went down. But it's almost more like they feel tricked. Even though everything was in front of them, so I don't know. 
page of pentacles down here. Someone obviously trying to work on like things, right? I don't think they have a lot of fight or a lot of pep in their step. Yeah. You know? Like they'll stand there and, and have the link pose, but they are not link, right? Um, something about trying to invest their money into some sort of business venture or whatever. And getting all sour in their feelings and letting it be known. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio right there. Huh. That's weird. Is it like the effort to put in energy and that's what's got you miffed? You don't got the you, you don't have the desire to fight, so it's like I'm gonna just stay mad about it. It's like what the fuck? It makes no sense, but whatever. Alright. Wants and wishes. Two cups. A pairing of sorts, you know. Somebody is watching that shit intensely. Like a hawk, like a stalker, like a total creeper, right? This creeper's got problems and it's making somebody sad. It could be a Leo, right? Someone's stalking and seeing that, like, there's nothing to wait for. Or they at least should be noticing that. But they're completely blind to knowing that it's their fault. Hmm. Or that they're doing it to the... Or, okay, like, check it out, right? Group one, let's say that, like, a. Uh, this person right here, right, could be you. Well, it's supposed to be you, but, you know, you, you, like, you do what you will with what I got, right? But it seems like you might be a stalker, might be a creeper, you know? Like, it, it's like you're watching somebody intensely to see if they get unhappy, but, it, but it's useless because, you know, what the fuck are you going to do with that? Right? But it's like you don't see that you're kind of harming your own self by continuing to look and see something that isn't there. It's like you're looking for something with somebody. I don't know. It might be with Leo. I'm not sure. Definitely a lot of fire, but it's like... Mmm. It's like, like if you're a creeper and you're looking at this shit, it's like you're getting mad because nothing's changed for you to feel like you can wait on something. You're not waiting for anything. But you don't see how it doesn't help to keep looking. You know, it's like it's over, but you keep trying to check to see if the dude's gonna call you. Alright, obstacle and challenge. Ten of Cups is happy ending, right? Becky is bored and she has her back turned. She's just like, I'm going to bed. This isn't fun anymore. You know? And someone wants to run in and wake Becky up with an argument of some sort. Just be like, Becky, you get out of this fucking bed right now. You know? When they really, I feel like, should be starting something new. Group one. Hmm. Fears and rejections with the lovers reverse. Could be Gemini. Could be about making choices and not making one. Could be about a love situation that isn't happening. This King of Wands right here definitely could be Leo involved. Um, is watching snakes in his yard. Because uh, he knows the tower moment ain't hit yet and he's expecting it, right? And that involves not resurrecting something. This king, like, there's a fear that this King of Wands will not want to continue whatever it is and will let it stay dead rather than resurrecting it. Either that or he's watching the snake to make sure it don't come up with some bullshit about, like, hey, let's get back together. It could be that too, honestly. Let's see. How this shit starts, how it ends, ten of swords, betrayal, and lots and lots of stabbings, right? Something didn't work in somebody's favor, they didn't put enough effort into it. And the lack of not doing anything caused a disaster. Nice. 
and they still refuse to look at the reality of the situation. They don't want to let go of their little world. Yeah. Oof. Oof. This person's got control issues. Group one. Sorry. Don't mean to be. I don't like. I'm not trying to be judgmental, you know. But I call things how I see it. We're all dicks here. We can all be a family, you know. I'm just saying, man. Like, someone's a bit of a control freak because they're trying to fill a void, you know. But they're still avoiding the truth of the matter of the situation, whatever that might be, group one. I don't know. But we'll have to sit here and check that shit out. Yes, we will. Alright, up top with the energy, or your energy, or whatever it is, right? Uh, someone left in the huff. It could have been this fire sign. Just, like, got all dramatic and shit. And then you're just sitting there like, what the fuck just happened? You know? Bam, that's what happened. Y'all broke up. Just instantly, just out of nowhere. It was just like, what the fuck is... Okay, man, whatever. At least I don't have to worry about you eating my ice cream when I'm not checking. Let's see. Down in the situation. What comes up after this? Some communication does pop up here, or some healing does come across. And people are able to finally be able to share the world together in this situation. Like, there might be a mutual agreement to be like, Look, I promise not to tell you I'll punch you in the dick. As long as you don't try to, like, say my hair is a wig. Well, it kind of looks funny as hair. What did I just say? You know? Like, I'm in the compromise, I believe. Mmm, Bruh. I don't know, group one. I don't know. That doesn't seem very nice. Alright, wants and wishes. There's an empress here who is bitter, but she's got her ducks in a row. She might, But she might kick her ducks a little because she's frustrated. Don't know why, but she is. She needs to drop the, those swords so she can actually mend her heart. You know? Hmm. Let's see. Obstacle and challenge. Someone is an offering dick. Could be Capricorn towards Virgo. Because, like, they're ascending. Yay. Fears and rejections group one. Someone's holding you back, giving you some, like, Jesus juice. <laughs> That's terrible. I apologize. In order to crush you. Ew! And that's the King of Wands, once again. That's, um, uh... That's scary, Group One. Whatever that is. Like, what's up with this... King of... What's up with this fire sign in here? Because they seem like they're not only completely hostile, but it's, like... It's almost, like, if it is Leo, it's like a cat and mouse thing. They just let you go enough so they can come in and fuck with you some more. Like, Leos are just big kitties with human eyeballs and shit, right? Let's see. How this shit starts, how it'll end. Final card, right? Bazinga, everyone's getting whacked. Pretty much, everyone's getting whacked. And, unfairly so, someone's taking from the elderly instead of giving to the elderly. Cool beans. Hmm. Interesting one. I'm not sure about this, but there seems to be someone really hostile around you. Or maybe that's you yourself, but I don't think so. But I think it's a lot of conflict to just fucking with you a little bit. Right? But other than that, that's just my own speculation. A theory, if you will. It's up to you to decide whether it sounds like you or not. I am but a messenger of the cows, or oh, whatever it is kind of accident I'm trying to do. I don't know. I'm really not paying attention to what I'm saying. I don't. I'm just a fluff in the wind. Ugh. 
My husband's messing with the car. We got a new car. It's not new new, but it's new for us. And like the heat works. <laughs> and the air conditioning, so it's a treat. It's got a little sunroof too. I'm actually pretty happy with it. Like I don't need like expensive shit. I just need shit that works. That's the best brakes I've had in years. Too. It's always awesome to have. So let's see a group two. Enough of my lifestyle, right? We need to get on to your side of the story. If you're part of the story, you can just be an observer. There's someone who knows about the story. There's anybody, right? Right. Let's see how you reflect. Huzzah. Ace of Pentacles. A good offer. A powerful offer at that. And the situation down here is the lovers reverse. Hmm. Which is strange because group one had the lovers reverse in um What the hell was it? Fear of rejection. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, my throat just got really Fucking dry right there. So that's interesting. The situation's already that. And group one is worried about it being like that. Wants and wishes the Knight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Two seconds. We're going to give me a drink before I hack again. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Someone wants to write off offering some love. Is this after they get the Ace of Pentacles, though? Because this is like. Mmm. Like, all these are connected. I got a powerful offer that comes with my love. Ha chow! Look at me stretch my groin out before you. Because I'm single. And I want to touch it. And I want to bump it. Oh, dear. Ooh. Okay. Someone's dirty today. Obstacles and challenges. Libra, that could be you. And you are administrating some fucking justice on group two. And that would be an obstacle and challenge. Fear and rejection. Five of wands reverse. Not finding a solution. Everyone just bashing each other's heads in. Being like, fuck the goal. The goal right now is the crack Kevin's skull. There doesn't have to be a reason why. You know, like, we're just going to do that. Just going into conflict. How this shit starts, how it will end. The star reverse. No healing, no communication, no whatever. And someone's still looking for a reason to stick around. Like, turn that floating boat around. And, um, you know. Go back to the flames. That they probably set themselves. You know, shit like that, right? No, oh, this is the wrong deck. My bad. Um, I will show you this, though. Whatever that'll mean for anybody, just take it as you will. Pause the video if you need to, just to look at it, because I'm not going to influence that one with what I think it is. It's not necessary, because I wasn't supposed to look anyway. Alright, let's see. So, this Ace of Pentacles has got to go through you, Libra. Crosswatcher could also be you, if you got Libra in your church as well. Um... But there's a fear that if this happens, it's going to cause a lot of conflict and no one's going to care about what the fuck's actually supposed to be happening. Or what's supposed to be going down, any of that shit, right? Hmm. Ace of Pentacles. Someone's sitting on the porch being like, where the fuck are you? Where? You know, like, wait, like, they got this offer that's powerful and all that shit, and they're waiting for somebody to come back and be like, where are they? What the fuck is going on? That's kind of crazy. Um, they want to take a break from worrying where this person is, too. And they're getting really sourpuss about it. 
getting puss in the face. I actually found out that that's another term for angry or miffed, which is just like, huh, okay, whatever. Well, miffed isn't really, like, angry as much as it is annoyed and disgusted, but it's kind of like, I don't know. I like nifty words like that because, like, it's interesting to use, right? All right, lovers reverse. They might have split out because, like, there might have been some biases. There might have been some nasty words exchanged. There might have been someone just looking for shit and someone got tired of the fucking bullshit, right? Hmm. I've got quite a book right here. Yeah. Someone wanted to be secure. But unfortunately, someone was not the goodest boy ever. They kept pissing on the floor and shitting on the bed. So it was just like, you gotta get whacked with, like, a paper. Or whatever, dude, like back in the day. Because this dude's old and he doesn't know better. So he just keeps whacking the dog. And then one day the dog bites him, right? So then it's like they break up. You know. We can't be having this dog around biting people and shit, right? But unfortunately in the situation, someone was expecting that person possibly to come back to save them. But that would require them to get an eagle to eat them too. And that shit didn't work out the way they, they thought it would, right? So now someone's all Becky-like. She's all mad and shit. She's got her back to her. She's gonna be like, I'm tired of this. I'm done. I don't care, says the bitch that, that, that actually fucking cares. You know, um, wants to take a journey somewhere, but her emotions got her stuck in a place where she really can't make a choice whatsoever. Damn Becky. <laughs> mm. Sorry. That was kind of rude. I apologize. Sorry, not sorry. Anyway, let's see. We got the devil reverse right here. Like, someone can't see that they're like just as bad as the other person, but they're. It's like, it's a, it's a it's a nasty relationship. What people would call toxic, which I hate that word. Someday I'm gonna find a new word to replace that because it'll probably be better. But it doesn't describe an actual relationship. Like people don't poison each other. We influence each other, and this is a very bad influence. It's like someone got trained to learn how to be a, a, a complete... Mess. A mess. In a relationship. This relationship was just not good whatsoever. And it was like... Two people just going back and forth with shit. Mirroring each other. Tit for tat kind of nonsense, right? You know, and then finally the tower broke. Libra, you might have actually seen this disaster for a minute and felt it coming on its way with your psychic abilities or just maybe you got fire and you, you just could smell the bullshit from a mile away. Um, fleeing before disaster actually struck you with whatever it is you could get into. Or Crosswatcher, whatever one you want to choose. Yeah, and the person who got left out in the cold really isn't worried about being out in the cold no more. It's like they got comfortable being a hobo. Like he's literally a hobo with a gimp. I don't know if hobo is politically incorrect, but at a hobo. So. Knight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone's offered their love in a situation where no one's even focusing on the goal. I just want to point that out. Like, do you really want to try to be the peacemaker with all these motherfuckers just swinging like nuts? I think the fuck not. That, yeah, that's a pretty drastic decision. That's, that's a pretty, like, mm, I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea. You know, that's good. Then you'll be trapped in the situation with them. You just be stuck in the middle of shit, you know, group two. And you'll be trying to uh, want to look at your dreams, just being like, ah. Like you're trapped behind these swords and you're looking at what's out there for you. You know? Like you feel trapped in what it is you actually want. Let's see. Justice Ka. This is your obstacle and challenge, group two. The justice says that, like, uh, this new start will be a fucking disaster. Oh, boy. 
Um, this Queen of Wands, Esther. That's, by the way, my new car's name is Esther. I'm so happy. She's cool. She runs like my old Oscar, and he was awesome. But anyway, Esther right here, she's got her back turned, creating a statue with the perfect tits in her name. Right? Hmm. It's like someone learns she doesn't care and then is all in their feelings about, like, how could she not care? How could she not care? It's like, it's like someone doesn't understand that, like, it's justified that someone stopped giving a shit about them. I don't know why, though. Libra, you might have just left somebody behind in this situation, just for the better. I'll save you. If this is you, Crosswatcher, this could be you as well. Hmm. Ah. Uh, five of Wands reverse. You know, someone just needs to take a leap of faith in all this fighting and go for the goal, I think. Because I feel like they're sick of being trapped all the time. They might have put themselves in this trap, for sure. But at the same time, goddamn, I need to get out of this situation. And that is the just thing to do. Or wait, no, that's what... Hmm. Someone took a leap of faith and trapped themselves in a, in a situation that was justification? That's a fear. I like That's not a rejection, that's a straight up fear. It's like fearing you put yourself in a bad place. Group two. Right, how this shit starts, how it'll end with the star. Yay. No communication because someone can't give up their fucking buddies. They got too many bitches around. You know. And it doesn't even like them. Not a one of them. What the fuck? Was the night it? Is this the? Yeah, it is. So night you want you don't want to deal with these bed. You don't love these beddies. But you can't give them up. But there's only one Betty you really like, and she's all the way over here, but you've trapped yourself in a situation by your emotions, by not making a choice, Group 2. That's some heavy shit, man. Like, that sucks. King Pentacles. I don't know what the fuck he's doing there, really. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, let's see. Are you keeping your, like, it's like you don't love these Bettys, but you'll support them. Could also be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here. Could be an earth sign, I'm not sure. Let's see. What's the ending theme? Someone feels left behind like a child and they want a reason to stick around even though they set everything on fire, I feel like. Like, they play too many fucking mind games and then the person ran away for good. Almost. Let's see. What comes up with the after tarot deck? I won that. I didn't turn that heater on. It's starting to get cold in the house. There might be an offer for sure being delivered slowly but surely, but I think it's influenced by this black cat getting like the Queen of Wands pissed. Like, pissed. It's like the Queen of Wands is all like really sore and shit from what she's heard or something. Strange. I'm dropping one more because I'm just looking at this like, what does that mean? <clears throat> Or is she hearing something completely different? Because she's down here too as Esther. <clears throat> Someone feel a little disloyal. 
Like she's gonna hear that someone doesn't want to carry her swords for her? Like, no, bitch, these are yours. Carry them. And that's gonna be like a ding, 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 ding. We got like a contestant up here who wants to ass beat. You know? Alright, situation. Someone needs to play some games and drive some motherfuckers away. That way they can get their shit done. Hmm. Libra, if I didn't know any better, I would say that's almost like a victory stance. Like you drove people away and you're admiring your work with that. Or Crosswatcher, my bad. Like I'm, not, I'm just laying that out there, but like someone's going to be victorious in getting rid of some people in order to get some work done. Actually get something to cooperate in order to establish this uh, predicament right here. We got the star reverse on top with the wants and wishes not communicating. But that doesn't lead to anything really good. It actually makes more plants sprout wrongly. And then the shit can't get buried still. It's like... I don't know, man. It's like not communicating. It's keeping something a zombie or keeping it out of its grave. And now it's just rotten and smelling and shit. And, you know, you can keep ignoring it. But after a while, it doesn't get any better. Especially when the sun hits it at like noon or worse, three o'clock. Those are like the hottest parts of the day. It's just gonna keep stinking up in the yard. Animals keep taking parts from it, but not the whole thing. It's like a rotting corpse in your yard. Mm. Let's see, in this obstacle and challenge. Kind of sitting there seeing how things are going to be battled out, not knowing who's going to be the victor. <laughs> oh shit, hold on, my door. It's not locked for some reason. I just now looked at that, like that's not good. It's been windy as fuck all day and that shit's been blowing everywhere. It's like, okay. So, group two, this is like, almost like you're sitting there blindfolded, not knowing what's going on, just to wait to see who's going to come up and stab you afterwards on their horse. Or are you expecting somebody just coming out of the random wild, like, and suddenly a wild Snorlax appears or some shit, right? It just, like, attacks everybody in the middle of these battles and shit. Or maybe you're going to do that, Libra. That could be you. This is like an air sign card. Crazy tasty shit, man. Fears and rejections. Mm. Something isn't going to work. Or someone didn't put enough work into it. In order to be able to release these things that keep them secure. Hmm. It's like letting go. Let's see. How this shit comes full circle, full cycle. Someone fucks up on their emotions. Someone just body slams the fish and just be like, oh yeah, I don't care. It says the young page it doesn't care, but they're gonna have to pay a price to get rid of this shit. Hmm. Savage. Indeed. I'm gonna drop one more on that. It's like they gotta pay to get something removed, like a bug, STD, infestation, annoyances, pests. Yeah, that's the only way they're going to be happy again, I feel like. Or they're going to get some sort of happiness or relief after they do this. Um, group two. So, that's the end of the Thunderdome reading. Y'all, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, subscribe. You ain't got to if you don't want to, but I'd greatly appreciate it. I love all your faces, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.